And I think it's an amazing story, Jonathan Aiken. I can remember when, it, when I was a journalist covering his downfall as a minister, but for then for him to go through this sort of redemptive process and, and clear, and eight, I was amazed he was 81 and to be doing the stuff that he's doing. So Rachel. I think the redemptive process yeah. for politicians would be a good thing. Politics yeah, no, involved. I also think it'd be very good if, if, if all MPs spent some time in prison. Because then they come out and they, well, they are really... Some it seems to turn... Oh, I did. Sorry, time. open goal, open goal. <laughs> yeah. But they Rachel come out... Rachel Johnson induction <laughs> course. <laughs> because when they come out, you know, they've been through, you know... He, Donald Nathan has been through the purgatory of public opprobrium. He's come out uh, clearly, you know, that was an incredible interview. He answered every question honestly, mm. like a human being, um, with candour and humility. That is actually what we want from our serving politicians, not our past politicians. And I thought that was what was, you know, that is the lesson for me. Uh, that's the sermon of today for me. That's interesting. I mean, he, he was... Uh, he slightly surprised me by saying that he thought, as Alistair said, that we are different here to the Americans and so on. But there was a time when... Um, yeah. Religion played a bigger role in politics, isn't it? Yeah, and I think that that's what's at the heart of this discussion is I think a lot of people think, have we really lost something where the church was at the centre of the community? I'm, I'm reminded of a film called Pleasantville, which I thought was really interesting, where they take a couple of teenagers and throw them back to the 1950s. And superficially, everybody loves the fact that the families are stable and the church is there. But actually, slowly through the film, you realise that a lot of minority groups were oppressed and the difficulties that were in that time. So I think we have this kind of nostalgic, rose-tinted view of the past um, that I think that people like Jonathan want to sort of portray. But actually, in reality, when you analyse it, it's a bit more tricky than that. 